Okay, so let's talk about composition. What's a good composition? What's a bad composition? Almost everything you guys sent me in the composition and construction um, was, was, was awesome. Um, but I, I see a lot of you guys didn't apply it to your own work. So we want to avoid putting things directly in the center here. Why do we want to avoid doing that? Well, if we, if we put it right in the center, we have all this space all around us to deal with. And it looks very awkward when we have all this negative space. We also want to plot it out so um, the people viewing it move around the drawing um, in a way where they're pulled into the focus, look around, and are given a way out. So that's why we also want to stay away from singular objects. When we do singular objects, yeah, let's say, some of you guys chose plants or flowers and put them right in the middle. Um, we want to do, I have this elephant ear plant right over here. We want to do something, something like that. Off to the side, because the viewers pulled in, it looks, it looks at the plant, it steps up and out. And let's say we really don't like this because I noticed a lot of you guys chose compositions that uh, had a lot of balance. So bring in some stuff here, here. And then you have this pattern where the audience enters here, goes around, comes back around and out. We want to think about the way we're moving around the page. So this is also, when we're doing 15 minute drawings, I expect them to look and have the same quality as your hour long drawings. So remember, it is impossible for you to draw an entire still life in 15 minutes and add value and add highlights and a background and finish. This is why it's important when you have a still life to pick out an interesting area. So rather than draw everything, we're gonna study a certain area. So I have these two things I, were, I was drawing in an earlier demo. I have, the, I have the little teapot kettle thing put right there. And then I have my pill bottle. This is also where your thumbnail sketches come in handy. And then right next to it is a bag for markers. And so th this, this would be a good 15 minute still act because you could go in, you could fully shade and shadow everything and add a background and develop it. So when you have a 45 minute drawing, maybe you zoom out a little bit more. And here is that with our pill bottle. And then you can see my ruler is over here now. And then here's the piece of fabric and my marker case. And I have time to build that all up in 45 minutes or those hour drawings. And notice I'm also, everything I'm drawing, it's going off at least in three sides of the, uh, of the image plane, if not four. When you're centering things, it's not an interesting composition because it's right in the middle. There's, there's, there's nothing, there's nothing taking you in or out or through the image. It is just one, one big circle. So that's what I'm talking about when I'm talking about zooming into the composition and then slowly zooming out as you have more time. You also want to have different perspectives. You don't want to get stuck drawing the same thing. So let's say for you've been you've been drawing two hours on all these these little studies. So either look over, look to the side, switch it up, uh, 
maybe, maybe put this this on its side, you know. Um, so now I have an hour, and now this is where I could do my whole still life. I just turned my cup all the way over. You can see right into it. And then I have the pill bottle in front. I have my ruler coming out. I have my marker case. I also have a Tony the Tiger Jack in the box back there. Um, I got my elephant ear plants. This, this hour long drawing, you would have time to develop and shade and shadow everything to the level that I want to see. And again, it's going off page in three directions. You also want to think about when I was talking about negative and positive space, when you just have something right in the center, you, you, you have all the space to deal with. And what we're shooting for is translating a 3D image onto a 2D picture plane. And this, this uh, kind of shatters that illusion because when you just have, let's say, we just have my, my elephant ears here, that's it. And then even though we're putting in a background and middle ground, it's just not very interesting. There's nothing to pull you in and keep you there. Um, it's, it's very lonely and isolating. And of course, that's something you can do at a later time if, uh, if that's where you think your work is headed. But in this class, we wanna stick, stick away from centering things and uh, create an interesting negative space. See, see this cuts around lot, lots of angles. Whereas this is just there. I hope all that made sense. If you have questions, please email me. All right, have a good day.